Welcome to My Design Life. Hello everyone, and thank you for joining us at the Wholepreneur Summit, where we've brought experts from all over the world to support your mind, body, spirit, and business. Today, we are going to move, gentle moving, because let's be honest, most of us have been sitting so much, it's probably best that we ease into it. My next guest is an amazingly powerful and strong woman, both in spirit and physique. I met her many years ago while we were both training Kung Fu in China, and I've had the pleasure of watching her become not only a leader in her space, but also a voice for self-care and unapologetic self-love. She is here today to lead us through a gentle yoga flow series. So grab your mat and let's give our bodies some goodness. Hello everyone and welcome to this yoga class. Uh, given the circumstances, I do hope that you're all healthy and safe. Uh, I am very happy and grateful to be here with you today, being able um, to still teach. I am Valentina, I am a certified personal trainer and yoga teacher, and today I will take you through a gentle flow where we're going to be stretching all the areas of the body uh, that hold up uh, the most tension. Um, so please remember that this is your practice. So feel free to take a child pose whenever you need to. Um, try to follow the flow, but respect where your body is today. Uh, discomfort is normal, but you shouldn't feel anything. Uh, also, we're always going to be breathing through the nose, unless instructed otherwise. Deep breathing through the nose, try to focus on your breath, keep your core engaged during the whole practice, and just enjoy. Okay, so to begin with, we're gonna find a comfortable sitting position. Um, you can use something under your hips or normal cross legs position, half lotus, full lotus, on your knees, whatever feels good to you. Once you find your position, imagine someone is pulling your head up, so you really want to bring your spine straight and long. Then you want to bring your shoulders back and down, your jaw is relaxed, your chin is slightly down towards your chest and the back of the hands on your knees. And you can close your eyes. So take one moment to bring your awareness back to the body. Close the door to all thoughts coming from the outside. And allow yourself to have this one moment to just focus on your practice. You can become aware of everything that's going on around you. Noises that might be close, your neighbor's breath, someone moving or noises that might be a bit more far away. Maybe birds are singing, or a few cars are still going around. Then come back to your body. Feel the contact of your feet and your legs with the floor or the mat. Your clothing, touching your skin. The back of your hands, touching your knees. Your breath coming in and out of your nose. And with no judgment, pay attention to how your body feels now. Maybe you have some tension in your lower back or your neck and shoulders. Just become aware of the feeling. And on your next 
Inhale, open your eyes. And you can come into a tabletop position. So make sure that your wrists are under your shoulders and your knees are under your hips. From here, we're just going to do a few circles to release everything, get the body moving. Move however it feels good to you. And change direction. And come back to center. Here we're going to go for a few cat cows. When you inhale, you arch your back, open your chest, squeeze the shoulder blades together, chin up. Exhale, chin to your chest, around your back, tuck your tailbone under. Inhale, open. Exhale, round. Inhale, open, exhale, round, two more, inhale, open, exhale, round, and come back to center. Here, inhale, bring the right hand to the ceiling and exhale, slide it on the floor and under your left arm. Here the left arm either stays on the floor or you can bring it behind your back to open the shoulder more. And breathe. Two more breaths. Bring your left hand back to the mat, come back to center and change side. Inhale, left arm up, exhale, slide it down and under. Right hand on the mat or behind your back. Two more breaths. Bring your right hand to the mat, come back to tabletop. Here, we're gonna extend one arm and the opposite leg. Hold for a few breaths. Then bring your hand back, bend your leg, Grab your foot or your ankle, push the foot into the hand, open your chest. And release. Other side, arm and opposite leg up. Bring your hand back, bend your leg, grab your foot and push back open. And release. You can come to child pose, hands forward, hips to your heels. Bring your hands to the right. And then bring your hands to the left. Come back to center and come back up. So here you want to keep a 90 degree angle in your legs. 
and we're gonna bring the hands as far away as you can and then bring the chest down you can bring the chest the chin or the forehead to the mat Bring your head up slightly, bring the hands in slightly. Then you want to turn your right hand up, thumb facing the ceiling, look under your left arm. Come back to center, change side. Left thumb to the ceiling, look under your right arm. And inhale back to center. And slowly come back onto your knees. We're here. From here, we're just gonna go and do a few head circles. So just turn your head around and change direction. And then roll your shoulders back. And roll your shoulders forward. Place your right hand to the mat, left hand up, palms facing towards the floor, and reach far to the side and down. Inhale back to center. Exhale, change side. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, inhale, bring the arms up. Interlace the fingers, turn the palms to the ceiling. And when you exhale, push the arms back, chin in. Exhale, release. Good. And then from here, we're gonna go directly into down dog. So place your hands forward, toes onto the floor, push the hips up, down dog. You can bend your knees, pedal your feet. And then look up, you can walk towards your hands, grab your elbows and just swing there. Let yourself hang. Release the hands and gently roll up. Vertebra by vertebra, last is the head. Good. I'm gonna go for modified sun salutation. So you either keep your feet together or hip wide apart, whatever feels more comfortable. And then you inhale, hands up. Exhale, fold. You can bend your knees if you need. Inhale, half a lift. Exhale, place the hands on the mat, bring the left knee to the floor. Inhale, up. Exhale, hands down. Foot back to down dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, knees down, chest to the floor. Inhale, open to cobra. And exhale, push. Up, five breaths. So 
look up, step forward, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold, inhale, come up, exhale, samasthiti, other side, inhale, hands up, exhale, fold, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, hands on the mat, bring your right knee to the floor, Inhale up, exhale, hands down, downward dog. Inhale, high plank, exhale, knees down, chest to the floor. Inhale, cobra, exhale, down dog. Five breaths. Spread the fingers onto the mat, push the shoulders away from the ears. Sitting bones to the sky, heels towards the floor, release your head and look up, step forward, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold, inhale, come up, exhale, samasiddhi. Okay, modified sun salutation B, bend your knees, reach the fingers to the mat. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands on the mat. Step the left foot back. This time the knees stay up. Inhale, exhale down. Foot back, downward dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, hand, knees on the floor. Chest to the floor. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, push up. Down dog. You can bend your knees slightly, try to flatten your back. Reach the sitting bones to the sky, belly in. Look towards your nose. And look up. Step or jump. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees. Hand, fingertips to the floor. Inhale, up. Exhale. Some city. Other side. Bend your knees. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands on the mat. Right foot back. Inhale. Exhale, hands down, downward dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, knees, chest to the floor. Inhale, open. Exhale, down dog. Breathe. Calm your breathing. Look up, step or jump forward, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold, bend your knees, fingertips to the ground, inhale, up, exhale, samasthiti, good. Okay, bend your knees, fingertips to the floor, inhale, up, exhale, down, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, hands on the mat. Left foot back, inhale, here exhale, bring the hands forward, push with your back foot to come onto your front foot and balance, warrior three. And then exhale, foot back, and hands down, downward dog, inhale, high plank, knees down, chest down, inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Five breaths. Two more breaths. Look up, step or jump forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, fingertips to the ground. Inhale up, 
and then softly taking other side. Bend your knees, inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, hands on the mat, step the right foot back, inhale. Exhale, hands forward, push with the back foot, warrior three. Bring the back foot down, inhale, exhale, hands down, downward dog. Inhale, high plank, exhale, knees down, chest down. Inhale, open, exhale, push up. Downward dog. If at some point you want to take a child pose, feel free to do so. One more breath. Look up, step or jump forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees. Inhale up. Exhale. Samasthiti. Good. Two more. Bend your knees. Fingertips to the ground. Inhale up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, hands on the mat. Left foot back. Inhale. Exhale, hands forward. Balance. Inhale, bring the foot down. Descend the foot completely down. Hips facing side, warrior two. Place the back hand onto the leg, other hand facing yourself, and bend back, reverse for your inhale, back to center, exhale, hands down, and downward dog, inhale, high plank, exhale, knees down, chest down, inhale, open, exhale, Push the hips up. Five breaths. Two more breaths. And look up. Step or jump forward. Inhale, half a bit. Exhale, fold, bend your knees, inhale up, exhale, release, other side, last one, bend your knees, inhale up, exhale down, inhale, half lift, exhale, hands on the mat, step your right foot forward, back, inhale up, Exhale, hands forward, push with the back foot, warrior three. Bring the back foot down on the floor. Open your hips to the side of the mat, hands in a T, warrior two. Place the back hand onto the leg, turn your palm to the ceiling, bend back and open. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, hands on the floor. And down dog. Five breaths. From here, inhale, bring your right foot up. Bring the right foot forward. Knee, left knee down. Inhale up, you can place your hands on your hips and here really want to push the hips down and let them sink as much as you can. You can place your hands on your knee or hands on the floor. From here, bend the back leg with your right hand. Grab the outside of the foot, 
twist and open. If you cannot grab, just reach for it. And release. Here, you want to walk your right foot towards your left hand and then drop the knee down like this, 90 degrees or less. Make sure your back leg is aligned with your hip and you can either stay here, half vision, or if you're comfortable enough, you can go to the floor. You can go all the way down. And breathe. The breath helps you find ease in discomfort. So whenever you feel discomfort, focus on the breath. On your next inhale, come back up to your hands. And on the exhale, push from your hands, bring the leg back to down dog. Two breaths here. And you inhale, bring the left foot forward right knee on the floor and sink your hips down from here you can put your hands next to your foot bend the back leg grab it with your left hand outside of the foot twist look back if you cannot grab, just reach. And release. Walk the left foot towards the right. And then drop the knee. Again, 90 degrees or less. Make sure the back leg is aligned and not to the side. You either stay here or you go down. Also, make sure to bring your right hip towards the floor. Don't open. Close. And breathe. Inhale, slowly come back up. Exhale, push up. Two down dog. Few breaths. And look up. Step or jump forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees. Inhale up. Exhale. So speaking. Good. From here, you're going to take a step to the back of your mat and open your feet parallel. So make sure that your feet are parallel and slightly pointing in. From here, inhale, hands onto your hips. Exhale, fold forward. Place the hands on the floor. Maybe this is already too much for you. You can stay here or maybe you can walk your hands back and reach the head down. Try to keep your back flat. When you feel that your back is rounding, don't go any further. Then you can grab your elbows and now you can round and let yourself hang. You can go from one side to the other, swing. Inhale, look up. Exhale, place your hands on your hips. Inhale, come back up. Now you want to interlace the fingers behind your back and squeeze. Inhale, open, squeeze the shoulder blades. And then you're going to again fold forward and let the hands drop behind you. Oh, look up. Exhale, 
Here we're going to open the right foot pointing forward and the left stays the same. Hands in a T. You push your hips back, reach forward and down. Look up towards your left hand. Triangle pose. Try to bring your chest back on the same line as your legs. And inhale, back up, change side, close the right foot, open the left, push the hips up, reach forward and down, look up. Open the chest, open the hip. Inhale, back up. Exhale, bring the feet a bit more in. Still, this time slightly pointing out. And then we're going to squat down and place the elbows on the inside of the knees. Hands in prayer in front of the heart and just stay here. And on the next exhale, you can sit down, bring your feet together in front of your chest and bring the feet in as much as you can. And then grab the outside of the feet and pull, keep the elbows in, pull your feet towards you and reach forward. Try to keep your spine straight. Imagine someone is pulling you up and down. Breathe. Inhale back to center, complete opposite, now round your back, completely round your back and imagine you want to bring the top of the head in between your feet. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, release. You're going to bring your feet on this, in front of your hips. Feet flat, hands on the floor. And then you're going to drop both knees to one side and then both knees to the other. Releasing the hips. If you can touch the floor with both knees, go ahead. Otherwise, don't drop it. One more each side. Okay, and from here you can simply come down onto your back, gently go onto your back. Here. Bring the knees to your chest. Make a few circles. And then bring the feet on the floor, hip wide apart, hands on the mat, inhale, exhale, lift the hips up, interlace the fingers behind your back and stay. For the second one, you either do this pose again, or you can grab your ankles and lift, or if you want to go for full wheel, you can go from that. Otherwise, grab your ankles and lift up. You shouldn't feel any pain in your lower back. Squeeze your glutes, engage your core. And exhale, knees. Bring your knees to your chest. Hug your knees. And then release the feet to the side of your mat. Lie on your back. 
palms facing up for Shavasana. This is the moment where your body integrates the practice. Let your breathing slowly go back to normal. Slowly come back to your body. Start moving your fingers and your toes. Make small circles with your ankles and your wrists. On your next inhale, bring your hands overhead. Give yourself a nice big stretch. On your next exhale, bring the knees to your chest. Hug your knees. Roll from side to side. You can jump to you on one side that is comfortable for you. Stay there a few breaths. And whenever you're ready, you can push yourself back up to seated. Comfortable seating position. You can place your hands in prayer in front of your heart. And close your eyes. Bring your awareness back to the body. And with no judgment, just see how your body feels now. And I thank you for your presence here today. You can be thankful to yourself for taking the time to practice. Namaste. Thank you everybody for joining me today. I hope uh, you enjoyed it. Um, if you want to follow me on social media, uh, my name on Instagram and Facebook is I am Val N. Um, N as um, Norway. <laughs> And I usually post workouts, um, motivational videos or photos. I do offer online personal training programs. Um, not yet yoga, but that will come. Uh, so don't hesitate to contact me if you want more information. Thank you. Thank you so much, Valentina. I hope everyone feels amazing right now. Make sure to connect with her on social media for her inspiring content and free tips and workouts. And then reach out to get fierce and fit with her online training. We are again so grateful that she was able to be here. And thank you all for showing up to create your best life. As you know, this summit is free. So if you enjoyed what you learned here today, we would love your appreciation in the form of shares, likes, comments, and follows. 
And if you haven't already, please check out our weekly show, My Design Life, where we test methods and habits to live a life you love. You can connect with me at Tanya MFK and at My Design Life Show on Facebook and Instagram and learn more about our workshops, courses, and coaching at TanyaMFK.com. So remember, your someday starts today. Make it the best. I'm Tanya MFK, and I'll see you next time. Welcome to My Design Life.